Sorry. Like yours, it came in too early for me. But did you get sent off as well? I was substituted. Substituted? In the first half? It's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? You must have been playing shite. Do you not see my great goal? The header from the free kick. No, I didn't see you scored that. Mind you, well, you crouch look the same, don't you? Blonde hair, blue eyes, big square heads. I mean, how was anyone meant to tell the difference? Anyway, it was never a free kick in the first place. That ref shit. He is French. He is on your side, no? Yeah, but try telling him that. He sent me off for nothing. It was a fair tackle. I got the ball. <laughs> it's like you got two balls. <laughs> two German balls. And, uh, I think they are in this trench somewhere here now. Yeah, well, I warned them the first time and nutmeg them, didn't I? I said, do that again, lad, and I'll have you. Uh, maybe his English is not so good. Yeah, and then he goes and does it again. I'm not having him take the piss out of me in front of everyone, the fucking kraut. Anyway, why would you get subbed if you reckon you're so good? I think I am. Uh, 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 say, uh, pulled. Pull a, a muscle. Oh, my. Pull the muscle? Yeah, yeah. Only proper players pull a muscle. You weren't playing for Germany out there. Well, not the real Germany anyway. Pull the muscle. You know, if you're getting injured, it means you're too old to be playing footy. Too old? I'm 34. Exactly. How old are you? 16. 17. What's wrong with being 17? Being 17? Nothing. Being 17 and being here. Happy. What is your name? Teddy. I am Wolf. Wolf? Yeah. Who calls the kid Wolf? I am named after Wolfgang Amadeus. Mozart. Is it a classical composer? Yeah, yeah, I know who he is. I'm not stupid. Do you uh, have family, Teddy? Yeah. Oh, yeah? I, I live at home with my mama, James and Daisy. There's eight of us and all. But my older sisters, they've all got married and moved out. I was just getting used to having the bed to myself. And I'm stuck here. Sleeping in a fucking hole in the ground. I'd rather be fighting for the blanket back at home, mate. When I signed up, I said it'd all be over by Christmas. Do you think it'll end soon? Who knows? Hey, we 
we should be glad it is not the hundred year war. It was a war that lasted a hundred years. Fucking hell. Never gonna get home. You must start that one as well. Here's me thinking I'll be home for Christmas with presents for me Mama, James and Daisy. Oh, this is our your brother and sister. Yeah. Your father alive. No. He died a few years ago. But if he was here now, he'd be leading from the front. He wasn't scared of anyone, me dad. He would be proud of you if he could see you. I'm not like him, though. He never would have cried. Where I bed down at night, I think of me mama, James, and Daisy. And then I think of me older sisters. And I think of all the mates that I've lost already. And all the bodies that I've seen torn apart that day, and it... It's so hard. We all feel that way. Really? Really. Do you ever... Do you ever cry? Yeah, most nights. And all around me I hear men sobbing. Men twice your age. Yeah, we hear that here too. The other night there was a load that was crying, and I heard this voice shout over, Belt up, man! We're trying to sleep over here! I swear he was talking to me, and I felt so embarrassed that I promised that I would never cry again. No matter what. Hey, it is okay to cry sometimes, you know. Do you have family? Oh, yeah. Uh, I have a wife and uh, two children. Here, you see. Nice kids. Reminds me of our James and Daisy. Oh, yeah. Except, except yours have square heads, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Oh. I will uh, tell my young son young Wolfgang that you uh, say these things. I'm uh, sure he will be pleased to hear uh, So, uh, have you brought a carry out? Yeah, uh, yeah. A carry, carry out? You know, a nose bag. Nose bag? I thought you spoke English. Oh, this ah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I would bring some dinner over to share with you. No, no way. I'm not eating any foreign rubbish. Ah, this is traditional German food. Yeah, oh, and I'd oh. rather starve. Look, have some bully beef instead. Bully beef? Yeah, it's good stuff. Try like no beef I have ever tasted before in my life. Yeah, because it's not beef, is it? <coughs> it's bully beef. Oh, uh, what is this bully thing? I don't know, do I? I'm a soldier, not a cook. Ah, yeah. Look, give us it back if you want to be so ungrateful. Happily. Ah, it's... Thankfully, I oh. brought some dinner of my own here. Look. Uh, this is our German food. Burnt bread. This is not burnt bread. This is black bread. 
Black bread? Oh. You never heard of black bread? <laughs> What's that? What's that other stuff? <coughs> German sausage. I have never seen a sausage that looks like that. Oh, here. Even where? <laughs> Tell you what I'll do. I'll keep hold of this stuff so I can show the lads the rubbish you're eating over there. I will do likewise with your with your bully beef. Oh no no no! You, you can't have that. That's me tea. I'm not going to be your crap, am I? Well, this time tomorrow we're probably going to be trying to blow each other's heads off again, aren't we? I don't get it. I mean, I thought all Germans were horrible bastards, but... But you're all right, aren't you? I like to sing so, yeah. Oh, you are? You remind me of my Uncle Stephen. I mean, who said that we have to kill each other in the first place? The leaders, politicians, uh, the generals, they take your pick. Yeah, well, I don't see them down here with us when the bullets start flying to you. Fucking hate them generals, mate. Uh, we feel the same on our side. Your general's posh twats as well. Posh twat? Snooty fuckers. Yeah, yeah. But whatever. But the next time they blow that whistle for us to go over the top, I'm gonna say, certainly, sir. After you. You might be waiting a long time in your trench in that case, Terry. Yeah, probably. Bastard. Here. Try this. No, I, I don't like whiskey. <coughs> I tried some of my dad's when he was out once. It was horrible. Threw it up in the lab. Worst of all, he'd marked the label. So when he got back, he realised there was less in the bottle. Gave me a right hiding. So got the slipper marks on my backside. <laughs> <laughs> this is not whiskey, Teddy. This is brandy. <laughs> and I do not have my slippers. So... I think your backside will be okay this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good. It's good. That's horrible. <laughs> this is cognac. Oh. And a fine one, too. But he said it was brandy. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's absolutely disgusting. It's a nice flask, though. Yeah, I'll this, give you that. Yeah, yeah. This is a gift from my wife. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So, what do you drink? Pale ale. Mm. Mm. Can't wait to have a pint in the pub back home. Me and the boys were, were too young to get served. Yeah. But our mate Billy, he looks like a bit of an arlass, so he gets the rounds in for us. Our house. Yeah, yeah, he's got a proper muzzy, like a real one already. Looks like a yard brush. You ever shaved that off? We're fucked. Yeah, I remember those days. If you're ever in Liverpool, come to the Melrose Inn in Kirkdale. We'll probably be in there, and you can see Billy's muzzy. But uh, we'll be in the lounge because only the Arlars is drinking the bar. On second thoughts, you'd be better off in the bar. Oh. Well, maybe I, I might just do that. It's not going to happen, though, is it? Probably both be dead by this time tomorrow, so... Hey! Teddy! Hey! 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 Hey!
ready. No, no, no. You must have hope. Always, Teddy. Always have hope. Without hope, there, there is nothing. Me mom said that it'd be safe. Always. Because she gave me a St. Christopher's medal the day I left. I've got two. Because my sister's got me one as well. Oh. So I should definitely be safe always. Shouldn't I? No. You should be fine. Do you have a St. Christopher's medal? No. But don't worry. I think I will be okay anyway. I want you to have this. No, it tastes horrible. No, it is empty. I want you to take the flask. No, 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 I, no. I can't take that. You, you told me your wife gave it Here. to you. Here is my name and my address. I want you to take this and write to me when you get home. So, so I know you are okay. Thanks, Wolf. Yeah. I'll look after it. Good. And, I, and I will write to you. English is my best subject. I'm top of the class in English. That is good to know. Here. You can take this. It's a letter for me, ma'am. It's got me address on, so you can write to me as well and let me know you're okay. I can't take something so uh, personal to you. No, no not, not the whole thing. Me mum would kill me. Just this bit with the address on it. Thank you. Ah. Oh. Well. Guess I am. Uh, I must go. Of course, you'll need urgent medical treatment for that injury. <laughs> um, the medics will sort you out, though, I'm sure. Do you want me to call you a couple of stretcher bearers? I'll carry you back over. Oh, no, I think I will be okay on my own, thank you. <clears throat> Goodbye, Teddy. You are. You take care of yourself, yeah? yeah? Who knows? One day we, we may meet again. Remember, always have hope. Without hope, we have nothing. Ah, you remember well, my friend. Well, t take this. No, I can, I cannot take this. No, it's okay. My sisters have won you to have it, and I've got the one my mum gave me. So now we'll both go always be safe. Hi, Teddy. See you, Wolf. Oh, well, Wolf, don't forget the, the Melrose Inn in Kirkdale will be in the lounge. I won't forget. Just make sure you have a pint of your pale ale waiting for me. But don't worry about that bully bee, boy. I will bring my own food. You don't know what you're missing, lad. <laughs> oh, well, Wolf. Tell your mate if he wants to come over and look for his balls, he's more than welcome. I, I will do, Teddy! <laughs> Wolf! Wolf! the kid wolf. <laughs> 